Welcome back to Ojibwe Language Table with Wes Jordan. Lesson number 37. We are on uh, the topic of Weiwebinabiwin, part three. Uh, fishing using tenses. So we're going to take a look at how that word fits into uh, our past, our present, and our future tense questions. And, um, you know, using more uh, um, sentences to... Uh, you know, ask questions or command someone to do something. And we're going to start focusing on, uh, you know, adding a little more to our uh, Ojibwe um, vocabulary with some of the tools that we uh, have in our Ojibwe language system. So before we start, always Ojibwe language table, we always do our self-introduction. Anin Buju, Akinawea. West Jordan and Dijnikas, Dagabanesi and Digo, Makwan and Dudem. Actually, that should should say Magizin and Dudem. I don't know where where that got switched up bad, but Squagamiwe Zaga Galing and Dunjiba, Ga Asinitz Cognin Da. But uh, you know, always stress to uh, at least learn our self introduction, your name, your clan, where you're from. That's all you need, and um, that will go a long ways. It's a good conversation starter, and um, one of our first things that we do when we greet someone, we ask them who they are, and um, you know, get back to to knowing our clanship, our clan system. You know, maybe we're we're clan brothers and clan sisters with people we don't even know, and uh, you know, self introduction really brings that out to identify who our relatives are in that uh, do dame our Dute Mug, our clans, so, uh, and uh, and where we're from. You know, you, you might be from the same community, you might be uh, relatives in that community, you never know until you have that conversation in Ojibwe and the Shinabe Moen Gae. So here we go. Weiwe uh, Banabiwen is the uh, act of fishing. We kind of break that down here. It's it's fishing in general. Weiwe Banabi. Sure, he fishes with a hook and line. When, when we put when at the end of a, our words like that, it makes it a noun. It's the act of, or it makes it, you know, like it says, makes it a noun. Way, way, but not be when conversations using tenses yesterday, today, tomorrow. And uh, we've used this in, in previous lessons. Bijinago, yesterday. Noongam. Today, wabang, tomorrow, bidinago nungum wabang are tenses that we uh, use. And uh, usually, when we we have these uh, personal prefixes, we, we we put ourselves in front of these these uh, verbs. You know, I'm doing this, I am that. You are doing this, you're doing that. Uh, I'm not doing this, you're not doing that. And uh, stuff like that, you know, kind of if uh, you need review, go on back to check out our older lessons. Uh, we're on 37 now, so there's plenty of lessons to uh, fall back on and reference to go back and uh, use to uh, to uh, expand your your Ojibwe uh, and your Anishinaabe and uh, literature and your speaking. So, ne, in, or nin, or end, or nind can mean I. And then we have ge or gid, you, depending on whatever the word starts with. And then we have uh, future tense, we, is going to, will, or want to. Okay, you're going to see we used in a, um, in a sentence, in a question, a question and a sentence. And then we have gi, which is past tense, um, blanked, was, or did. Whatever the verb was, was verbed, was or did in past tense. And we way but not be when conversations using tenses in na, in na, or na is uh, in our, um, I guess, terms would be a discourse particle, it says. Uh, yes or no question word, in na, or na. And uh, those two uh, words always come second. In, uh, in our sentences uh, when asking a question, and we're going to use examples of that today. Eh, or eh, yes, 
going no or not in the pattern going blank c someone is not doing something and we're going to see examples of that also so here we go let's get started past tense using way way but not be kiki way way but not be not be jinago kiki way way but not be not be jinago did you go fishing yesterday okay conversation starter getting to um you know ask questions to people you know maybe you're curious maybe you want to know you know gigi way way banabi na bijinago did you go fishing yesterday and responses you might hear or if someone asks you this you, you can say eh ingi way way banabi bijinago ingi way way banabi bijinago yes i went fishing yesterday Okay. To negate that, we would use our Gawain C pattern, and we have that right here. Gawain ingi we we banabi C bijinago. Gawain ingi we we banabi C bijinago. I didn't go fishing yesterday. Gawain. All right. Present tense. Gi we 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 banabi na nungam. Gi we 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 banabi na nungam. Hey, are you going to go fishing today? Do you want to go fishing today? Are you going fishing today? Okay, gi we 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 banabi na nungam. Eh, ni we 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 banabi nungam. Or you can see say uh eh, ni we 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 banabi nagaj. You know, you can use nagaj in this case too later. Yes, I'm going to go fishing. I want to go fishing or um, um it's going to happen. I'm going to. Going ni we 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 banabi si nungam. Going ni we 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 banabi si nungam. Okay, I am not going fishing. I I I'm um I don't want to or I want yeah, I suppose you can use it that way. Remember, it means the we is a will or want or going. I'm not going to go fishing. Right. And our last one we're going to work on today is our future tense, real short lesson. But uh, definitely practice with these. So we have giwi we we banabi na wabang. Giwi we we banabi na wabang. Are you gonna go fishing tomorrow? Do you want to go fishing tomorrow? Eh yeah or eh ni we 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 banabi wabang. Eh yeah ni we 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 banabi wabang. Yes, I'm going fishing tomorrow. Gawin ni we 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 banabi si wabang. Gawin ni we 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 banabi si wabang. I am not going to go fishing tomorrow. Okay, so there's an example of uh, using gi we, um, you know, our tense markers in in the shinabemu and and uh, practice these. Practice, you know, question yourself. Go look in the mirror, maybe, you know, ask yourself these questions and then respond with with your your uh, yes and your and your no answer and just practice and practice and the more you get comfortable hearing yourself you know even talking to yourself in a in a sense to uh you know hear it hear yourself say these words you know you 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 learn you know where to uh where these words kind of come out and they kind of flow a little better and they flow flow even and then they and uh, you're, you figure out your dialect where you're from by practicing. But you also figure out your community's dialect by listening to the elders. Um, you know, that's one thing that's real important is to wewaini bizindamuk, wewaini bizindun, to uh, listen carefully. Because each community has a different um, um, way of their sound in wewinanan. You know, that's their sound. Each community is different. And uh, it's up to you guys to figure that out. You know, I can't tell you, you know, 
this is how you're supposed to say it because each community has their different uh, um, dialects and different ways words kind of drag out and sometimes at the end they pop off at the end they have that uh, like for example give away way banabi na wabang okay that could be something in your community I know that's what I hear in my community here in uh, Red Lake and so it might sound like you know something like that so pay attention to those things uh, uh, listen to your elders carefully your first speakers and uh, you'll get a sense of what I'm trying to um, you know get out to you guys about hearing them different uh, you know how how your community does that so without further ado i think we can end this session here me which be in dawieg me and awami which ki gonna waban the meg um thank you guys for for uh, listening and uh thank you guys for watching this episode this 37th episode of uh ojibwe language table and we're gonna you know continue on working with our sentences and uh, different ways to um use our our uh our fishing terms and uh Look forward to coming back on here and sharing what what I know about you know some of these words and some of the ways we use our Nishnabe and so again Gigawabmin and Imi Nawa Nagaj or Gigawabmin Mi Nawa Gigawabmin and Nim Mi Nawa. Um, I'll I will see you guys again on here. It says Gigawabmin Wabmin and Nim Nagaj. I will see you later. Ah how. I am Guamazik. I am Guamazik.